Shalom, my friends. Um, I wanted to make sure I came and um, showed you this one as well. This is a very important one for you to for you to uh, to recognize. And um, this is this is the comet. This is the comet that's headed our way right now. And as you can see, uh, <clears throat> it's going to show you in the illustration here that I have um, that if you hit. Number one, number one, number two, uh, number three to show over here. Uh, number one means it's going to be visible, visible in, by the telescope. Um, number two, it's going to be, it's going to be when it's here, it's the closest approach to Mars. Number three, this is your first chance to be seen by the naked eye. Keep in mind, this is the Earth right here. This is the Moon. And this comet is going to come around. And it's showing you the trajectory of this comet. And it's coming from a different solar system. And it's going to come and wrap around. At number four, this is when it turns actually around the Sun. And number five. This is right here is where actually the closest approach to Earth that is going to be right here, number five. And then number six, it won't be no longer visible from, from my naked eye. But when you get here, right here, it's going to be closest to us than ever before. This is fascinating. And I want you guys to see this because I want you to understand exactly what we're faced with. And this is something that no one's talking about. And this is very, very, very serious. And I want you to look at this. This comet is headed our way right now. And no one's talking about it. And this here is the Earth. And this comet is going to come down from this direction. And it's going to wrap around the sun. When it does that, it is expected to create so many problems for us. Uh, from breaking down our magnetic you know, protection of the Earth it has the capability of because this thing is also three times larger than the earth which means that it's going to have a gravitational pull and that's what some people are concerned about that with that gravitational pull is that it has the ability to perhaps to perhaps pull the earth towards it and if it does that it will knock the earth off of its axle and create a pole shift that pole shift, if it's even one centimeter, it's going to create tsunamis and problems that we've never seen the likes of before in the history of our, in our, in our mankind. It's just going to be devastating. And they're not talking about it because why? They don't know what a comet is going to do. A comet are so, so tricky. They, they're unpredictable. You just not, never know. But this comet here, you guys, is headed our way. And you can always go and analyze these things yourself. And this is fascinating to me. And it should be fascinating to you. Why? It's coming our way right now. And it's going to come from this direction. It's a comet. And it's going to wrap around. Now the scripture that I want to talk to you about. And it says it. Um, it says it in Revelations 6.2. And I looked and saw a white horse and he who sat on it holding a bow and a crown was given to him and he went out overcoming and to overcome they're talking about this comet right here it's on a white horse and when I'll show you through some of the research I'll do I'll show you the photos where the, the scientists and NASA have actually gone and analyzed this this comet here and gotten inside of it and gotten and taken off some of the layers of it and looked very close at it and they said and I show you on some of my research, on my some of my pages I have here it looks just like a bow it truly truly does but it's headed our way and I just want you to pray don't be afraid our heavenly father is coming back for us as he said he would I just want you to know and I want you to be able to to see what's happening to us this is real, you guys. It's coming. It'll be here. We'll be able to see it in November. It says over here, early September 2013, visible in, in the telescope. October 1st, closest approach to Mars. 
November 2013, the first chance to be seen by the naked eye. November 28th, turns around the sun. December 26th, closest approach to the earth. It's amazing. One day after Christmas. One day after Christmas. The closest approach to the earth. Hmm. Planet Ison. One sun. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Shalom.